Hello guys, welcome to Survival Russia. We're at the homestead as you can see. This Sunday video here, we're gonna take a look at a Russian manufactured tent. I've never tried hot tenting in the winter. And uh, this is one of the things that this tent, the UP2, the UP2, Universal Palatka, it means universal tent, can do. It can do a lot of stuff actually. It is a really, really awesome tent. I got the tent and I got the oven there for a very, very reasonable price. But enough about all this blah blah blahing. Let's take a look at the tent. So this video here is basically gonna be a first impressions and I'm gonna pitch the tent and I'm gonna take, we're gonna take a look at the oven and all that good stuff. I'm not gonna run over every single detail of this tent because there are really a lot of, to, of things to talk about when it comes to this tent. But uh, as you can see, it's not really that small. It's not super lightweight. But for, for its size, it's actually pretty lightweight. It's, uh, I think, 22 or 26 kilograms. And uh, it's 1.20, 1.25 meters wide. So it fits uh, easily in a trunk because of a car. Because this is, of course, a vehicle tent. It's not exactly a backpacker's tent. But uh, it will fit very nicely into the mini crawler, I can say. One of the reasons I'm really excited about this is, of course, as I said in the intro here, that I've never ever tried the hot tenting before. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be very interesting. But let's take a look at the bag here first. We have like a rubberized uh, upper. We have a rubberized lower. Not that upper and lower, but uh, yeah, upper and lower on this bag here. Just like, you know, big straps. They can be adjusted, so yeah, you can put it on as a backpack if needed to hike from the tent, from the car, or whatever. Tra la la. To carry two people, whatnot. Then we have some uh, compression straps here on the middle, some reinforcements here. More compression, compression straps with uh, fast tech bottle buckles in each end. Heavy duty zip lock, blah blah blah. Let's get into the tent here. Because uh, it's up, uh, after all, what we are here for. I have not pitched this tent here before. I have not uh, set it up whatsoever. So, uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. But it should be super, super easy. And I, of course, looked at some Russian reviews on this tent here. So uh, I was not completely unaware of what's going on. Inside of the bag here, which is a little bit rubberized here and is really, really heavy duty, we have, let's see, two, three, three, four, five. Then we have a heavy duty bag here, which I will assume contains some uh, tent packs. And it does. These are quite, <laughs> looks like heavy duty. 10 packs, rebar 10 packs. Awesome. We have a little bag of uh, spare parts I can see. We have a, a nut, a little bit of a screw, fast text buckle, a big thingy here. It's actually the lock for the tent. And we have some uh, fabric material and some vertical straps. What do we have? What do we have? We don't have anything. There's nothing more in the compartment here. All by itself is not that heavy, actually. I can see that the, the spare part is definitely, the spare nut is definitely for this part here. So, uh, yeah, a little fast tech strap here. Voila. Let's see how we are gonna do this. <laughs> it basically opens like a giant umbrella, but you have to uh, to work for it. Now I want to uh, 
you say, open up the umbrella to its max and uh, fold out the skirt down here. Alright guys, so as you can see, the general construction is up. Let's get into the tent and uh, let's look at the giant umbrella here. <laughs> Alright, so uh, yeah, this is the, the umbrella construction and this is the umbrella handle that you really have to pull hard. Unfortunately, we cannot remove this. <laughs> that is not true. We can remove it and we should remove it. This is an aluminium rod and I can say the whole frame, everything is made of airplane grade aluminium. Then we have this little guy here. We're gonna take a look at the frame a little bit later, but uh, this little guy we put up here. This sort of like locks the top of the umbrella here. Awesome! So the tent here is called a universal multifunctional tent and uh, it certainly is. It has a lot of, uh, you can say, built-in features for for different kinds of, uh, of, uh, of use, for ice fishing, for hunting and of course just for recreational use but uh, this is of course the, the three main uses this tent has. The outer material is made of what is called Oxford 300 PU 4000. I have no idea what it is but it uh, looks pretty sturdy, it's uh, very heavy duty. As you can see it's a double wall tent. The inner fabric here, the inner material it's a little bit different than the outer material. I'm not 100% sure yet what is the inner material made of. One thing that is important though, it is of course to, to pitch the tent properly. Pitching the tent properly with the uh, cordage will of course uh, open up the tent a little bit more and it will also separate the two different layers, right? The inner and the outer layer from each other. The reason it has uh, two layers and it's a double layer tent is that it uh, contains the heat better and it prevents or reduces condensation a lot lot. Also the tent here can hold six persons without equipment. That means if you're storing the equipment outside and you can say in an emergency or if you really have to, you can be six persons in there sleeping. I would say that most likely two or three with equipment is, uh, is the ideal, but this tent here is huge. I think it's 340 across and it's 1.90 meters high. Let's get in and take a look here. So this section here is of course for the oven. All this is uh, glass fiber as I have learned. It can be removed and uh, changed if need be. So this guy we of course can remove and we can put the oven there. And by the way, out in the in the back for the tent, there is a piece of uh, glass fiber. It's not asbestos, but it's a big, heavy-duty piece of glass fiber to put the oven on. We have a, down here a heavy-duty zip lock, so we can unzip the floor and uh, use it without flow if needed. We have these small thingies, these small openings, and they are made specifically for ice fishing. That's pretty neat, I think. We have an upper pocket, then we have two lower pockets with uh, zip locks. We have a small pocket here. We have the same pockets over there. And we have some storage space up here. This is uh, actually not flimsy at all, this net material here. And we have a small carabiner sitting everywhere. And it seems like this netting here can be removed, it's only put in place with toggles, so yeah, also pretty neat. We have uh, carabiners for whatever, all the way around. This pocket over here is actually for the floor itself, so we can pack the floor up and store the pocket uh, floor in this little pocket here. I think it's a pretty neat tent, I must say, I really look forward to taking this into use. Alright guys, so here we have a window. It's a, it's a multi-layer window, I can say. Here is the first part. It can be rolled up and uh, locked with the toggles here, of course. What we have here is a window screen. 
transparent window screen. This window screen here can be, be completely removed if you want to. This has Velcro all the way around. Here we have another layer. This is the actual outer layer. What do we have here? Here we have a mosquito net. And finally, we have the inner tent, which is not uh, flimsy. So the window here, of course, has a lot of uh, uses or options for uses. We can take the outer layer and put it in. Just put the mosquito on it up and uh, put the window down so we can uh, use it as an observation post or just light. I mean, the observation post for hunting, right? And while we are here, let me show you this, uh, the frame up here. This is the top of the umbrella, as you can see. And it's uh, all metal construction, aluminium and steel. The aluminium, as I said, is some uh, aer aerospace, airplane grade uh, aluminium. It has some Russian designation, but it's most likely it's most likely uh, equivalent to 6065 or 7075 uh, aluminium. I would guess so. Here we have a little uh, a little rod kind of a thing. That means that the it of course can uh, keep the window open if need be, if it's warm. So we have a few items down here. We have this little funky item here. And we have this little item here. This is the pouch which contains the fire safe material for the oven. So we're gonna put the oven. This here is a door. It's actually pretty cool. Like that. So now we have a door with a handle. We also have a nut and bolt there. We have this uh, aluminium frame. I said everything is all steel and aluminium. It's pretty nice. Okay, so the door attaches uh, with this uh, Velcro stuff here. And over here we have the corresponding Velcro. So uh, I'll see if I can attach this. This is my very first time with this tent here, so uh, yeah. Okay, so we got the door on. As you can see, up here and on this side, we have some uh, elastic bands. So when I'm tired looking at my wife standing there on film, I can just go in and close the door. And then I can go out in the back and say hello to wifey again. We have a kind of a top, so we can have a I don't know how dry it will be, but we can of course regulate it, but yeah, it's just like a overhang. The overhang here, it attaches to these toggles, so it can just be unbuttoned and it can fit over on the other entry exit. So this is basically what the outer material is, uh, is made of. Oxford 300 PU 4000. It's not, it doesn't, it's not flimsy tent fabric, uh, you can say, and it feels a little bit rubberized on the inside, what do you say? Um, I would not say that it's rubberized, but it's a very heavy duty nylon of uh -huh. some kind, well bred, or how it's called. Woven? Woven, yeah. It's a company logo, or well, not the company logo, but that's the company, Pefe Bierig. Bierig actually means uh, riverbank. All right, guys, so uh, I think we've been uh, talking enough about the tent here itself for now, or for this video maybe even. But let's try and take a look at the oven. Let's try and install the oven because I'm super excited about the oven and having a tent which holds an oven. It is super, super awesome. So what we have here is where we are mounting the oven. And of course, we have this little window here. With velcro velcro and the inside of this this is really thick there's also glass fiber so here we have the two stainless steel rings and uh, we have rolled up this little guy here the little hatch <laughs> so let's get in and uh, see if we can get the oven done that's how it opens Ta -da -da. so this little bag we have the oven as i said Let's see how that goes. This should also be pretty simple. Uh-huh. 
I see we have a smoke alarm with a battery. That's pretty awesome. Not a bad idea. As you can see, we have all the, the chimney tubes inside of the oven here. Uh, let's get them out. So we have a little pouch here, which I certainly hope contains the legs. And uh, it does. Here we have a leg, aluminium with a little bit of a rubber right bottom. Just put it in and use this wing nut here. Tie it down, pretty easy. So here we have the stainless steel oven. We have a handle here. We have some heat shield, heat shield on the back. Some heat, heat shields here on the sides. They can be adjusted. But we're not gonna use it. I think it's just for, uh, yeah, for taking up less space, right, on the transportation. But they can of course be expanded. As you might have noticed, uh, the exit, or what we can call it, from the oven here is uh, in the front and not on the rear. You can see we have a plate down here actually, so this air has to circle in the back and up here and out. I think it's gonna serve a little bit like a spark arrest or something, because there are no spark arrests for the, for the oven or for the chimney here itself. But uh, let's get it on, see how it goes. So that's the chimney. It is uh, way up above the the tent, so I doubt that there's gonna be any issue with the uh, embers or, and sparks and so on rushing down the tent or falling on the tent. I doubt that there'll be an issue with it because there has been put a lot of thought into this tent here. I can see, so I guess they would have added a little bit of a cap for the for the chimney if need be. But uh, it would be awesome to have actually for rain and stuff like that. So yeah, maybe they have it um, as an accessory, who knows. So we of course have the burn chamber here. We have this little lid, of course fits on here. And this little guy here is how we regulate the airflow. Just by sliding it in and out. Or remove it and removing it all together. You can see this is uh, approximately the space that I would take up in the tent here. It can easily be, be one more and one more. My wife and I were actually sitting out here and Mrs. Survivor Russia was mentioning that uh, from the outside it actually doesn't look that big and it doesn't but on the inside here there's a lot of space. There's really really a lot of space. It's pretty awesome. And what is also pretty awesome is that you can actually make sauna in this tent. It's designed for it. So I guess the temperature rating for this tent here it will be from uh, yeah, a 90 degrees Celsius to whatever temperature. Minus 40, minus 50, minus 60, whatever. Uh, it is a real expedition tent actually and I've seen many Russians uh, use it in uh, severe winter conditions. And then another thing Mrs. Survivor Russia was mentioning, because she's a tailor and a designer, actually, that is that uh, this is not cheap materials at all. So it's pretty needless to say that I'm of course uh, totally excited about this tent here. And I really want to thank my fellow YouTuber for giving me a heads up on, uh, on the company here, contacting him in the US and uh, the contact going back to Russia. That's pretty, pretty awesome. Check the links in the description and please consider supporting the channel and subscribe, and subscribe, and subscribe, and subscribe, and subscribe, all that good stuff. Until next time, get out of the train, get it done, do something awesome and let's see how this tent is taken down. Of course, I said, I never tried this before. Let's see how it goes. I definitely have to put this uh, aluminium rod back into place. And then what? <laughs> I have no idea. Ah, I like that. Awesome. I 
I'm so happy that I just sit here and hug my new tent. See you guys. <laughs>